Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is another shopping day. So I am out. I'm going to go ahead. Where's the sign? It is over there. Sam's Club. I'm going to go to Sam's Club and get the rest of our groceries here today. Last week to the Aldi and Walmart and got those. And now I'm into Sam's to get the staples that we need. So let's go in and see what we got. I got Autumn and Jensen with me. Can I say that? They're with me. We had an eye appointment today. So they are there with me and we're going to go in and find, I'm sure find treats and all the good things so let's go in okay somehow my kiddos are gonna walk around they're old enough obviously to walk around the store by themselves which is good so i am over here to look for razors let's talk razors you can get 15 dollars if you spend 60 dollars of products which right here 35 dollars. okay so what's the best thing razors i have bought cheap razors so many times so many times and i realized what a waste i remember being a kid and my aunt had like the razor, like obviously a really good one. She paid a lot of money for it, but I was like, why are you doing that? But I realized, you know what? Then you never have to buy them again because you buy like a nice one and it lasts forever, like forever. So just gonna keep that there and then uh, be good. So I gotta look and see what else is on sale. So like Dawn, I guess I can get some soap. Not for, I gotta get 15 more dollars. What else? Hmm. Okay, Crest would be included in this, I think. So that's 12. I just have to spend $60. 35, what is that, 45? Come back, so 35 and 12 is 45, 47. So I need to spend 13 more dollars? 13 more dollars, which I surely can, I'm sure, find somewhere. All right, don't get the everything cashews. Nope, just get whole cashews right here. These are good. Even though I did get some. This is only, it's only eight. I wonder how many packets would be in there. Next time I'll get it. Oh, look, at it's only four for a huge thing. I think I paid two at Aldi. So many good spices. I don't usually buy too many, but I mean, I just have a lot of them. I do need like a salt here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna keep here. Sea salt, I guess. That works. I had Himalayan, but this will work. Look at, there's a whole thing in that for five. Right here, we need some vanilla. I bet you this would be really good. Salt, pepper, and garlic for five dollars. Do we get one of these just to try? I'm sure they're delicious. We'll try this one. I know the buttery steakhouse is good. We'll get this in right here. Try not to let me forget. I need what? Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars, Amy. Okay, so we gotta go see some more stuff to get. Oh, there's like a big giant chippy pack right there. Do need some of these? Okay, they got dark melting wafers. Members mark. I'll get some of those. I didn't know they had those here. The bean is because we're gonna do some um, caramel apples. That would be a nice addition on it. I do need bacon. This kids want for throw in their breakfast easy. That's a pretty sample day at Sam's Club. Oh, it's Friday, isn't it? Thing in my shirt channel. I should look how big those are. Those are huge. Let me compare the price of this. There's three of them for 45 ounces. I think it was 24 ounces for dollar fifty. I'm gonna have to look at the price of my yesterday or um, Friday video. We'll do honey nut Cheerios. I need some good pineapple. Get that right there. It's a good deal. Let's see if they had applesauce. I didn't see any like regular big cans. Okay, I was looking for like lemonade. I didn't see any lemonade. Like maybe they don't have any more customers done. I mean, it's not. It's still really nice. Twix iced coffee. Yummy. Kids are off for sampling it, saying they're still like keep sending me texts. There's really good mac and cheese here and there. I think it's just all drinks. So, doing good. I don't really need drinks like here. Are these cheaper than? You know what? That is cheaper than. I think I paid twelve dollars for. Yep, twenty-four. Let me look at the regular stuff. I just thought I bought Greg some Coke. 36 for 16. I feel like that's cheaper. I'd have to switch them over from Coke to Pepsi. Ooh, they do have Coke. 35 cans. Let's, I gotta figure out the price versus 24. So 35 for 17 dollars. This is all for myself to go home and look. I always just think Walmart would be cheaper for soda because Sam's Club used to always be more expensive, but if everyone might be cheaper. Nowadays, we'll see. All right, no, that may be lemonade over here. No lemonade. So 
Sorry, kids, they have tea, but no lemonade. Okay, look at that. 24 pack for $7, what? No, that's cheaper. And Greg does like Vega. Walmart doesn't sell, okay, Monsters. He does like these too. How many's in here? 24 for 37 I know that's ridiculous. But for myself, price, look that up. Okay, so something I would never even think to look because myself, I would think it'd be way more money to buy it at Sam's Club, like soda. But probably not the case anymore. Okay, well, let's go on to the next one. I'm coming down every aisle here, but I don't really think I need to come down every aisle. I guess I was, I'm gonna have to do the cleaning one because I gotta get $13 or something. They have a lot of good stuff. Look in here for your, like, look at all these, like these, well, no, these are disposable. Right here in your kitchen section, you're gonna get uh, frying pans. These are all gonna be restaurant quality. Those containers are really good. My mom got some of those. And then the knives, their knives are really good. Pans are great. Some, oh, there's the small ones. Is that a two pack? It is. I just bought one of those from the one company, the Rada, and then these are great. Like it's like still six bucks. That's how much these to be. Well, these to be five for the forks too. These are good replacements for your uh, household because kids lose them and they get thrown away. That happens. Perfect. Just great deal on that stuff. Okay, I'll save a dollar. I'm gonna get this one, the black label. This will be good. Still, like, that one at Deadwater's was definitely cheaper. I should have gotten that one. It's okay. Next time. And then, um, I do need some of this. I do need to get some of this cheese. I know. Kids like it for easy things. Check it out. I like to get some for Greg. It's on sale. You get a dollar off. Yeah, I need to get two of these. Those big hot dogs. I'm gonna get these because we like the Nathan's. Anyways, some Parmesan cheese right here. Ooh, they had some bang bang chicken, it was called. Was that down here? Because that was delicious. Okay, so they had bang bang chicken and it was um, really good, but would it be cheaper to buy the chicken bites and then dip it in spicy sauce, like hot sauce? It probably would. When it, so this is 13. Let's see how much it is. Okay, well, I guess they already have Buffalo Bites here for 13. I know my kids would like that. I get treat one, you know, one day a week or something we do this. I do need to get two of these. Actually, just one hamburger and one hot dog. I guess that's it. Okay, they got butter bread? Hmm, I think we'll do. The honey wheat the kids like. If I can get two of these and then by the time we run out, it's like I can freeze the other one and it works good. Okay, we need some tortillas right here. Two of these. Just they only have the red pepper hummus. Nobody likes that one. So maybe I'll just get one of these. It's a packet of it. Oh, it's hard to get out. All right, salami. I'm gonna get two of these. I am on sale. I'll get this one. I really like the Fleck Forest. Like forest. Provolone cheese. Get three of these. Grab one of these because these are yummy. The bread is really good. Get one of these. The grapes are seven. That's how much they were at Aldi. Oh gosh, I just dumped that right out. Get some grapes. Those are cheaper here, so I'm gonna get some of these. Oh, they don't look very good. Candy hearts, they don't look very yummy. Yes, cucumbers. Get two of these. I don't see any lettuce, so I guess it's gonna have to be a romaine. I guess we can use that. That'll work. There's some cucumbers, I'll get some of these. We need some viney tomatoes, I guess I get these. That'll work. I'm gonna get one good old fashioned banana. They don't eat them plain, we just like them in smoothies. So the only thing I noticed is they have no celery at all. Cucumbers, what else do I need? I need to get chips, is that it? Chips. And then I'm finished. Okay. I'm gonna go get some chips and that's it. Remember that deal? What was what was the other one? I need one more. $13 deal. Probably the soap. I can always get one of these for sure. So I'm like looking at it, I'm like, I don't think I'm even gonna need to make that amount. You know what I mean? So take that back and take back the toothpaste because I don't really need all that stuff to get that $15. Okay, 
I'd spend more on the name brand than I would on getting this, the card. Okay, head to the chips and then we're done. Tons of candy. I just need some chips. Those are good. This is 10 chips right here. I'm hoping these are cheaper than Walmart. And Doritos. I'll get two of these. Regular. Is that it? Oh, popcorn. That's what I needed. Popcorn in a box. Come down here and get some popcorn. Mm. I think Greg likes it for the convenience, so I'll get this for him for when he's coming home and wants something. Free strikes or upgrades for eight. Okay, so Sam's Club, not bad. So $400, isn't that crazy? So not bad for what I spent the last two stores and this store for the month. Not at all. So we'll go home and we will uh, do a haul to see what we got from Sam's Club. Okay, I want to get some gas at here as well because it's cheap. Remember at Costco where there was a huge line and I was like, wow, is there like a gas shortage? No, I feel like this is good. We'll get some gas and head home for undoing the groceries. Okay, it's 3.36.37 basically for gas here. What is your gas in the rest of the country? So I feel like Florida's pretty high, but I think California, that's a lot higher, higher out there. So just wondering what it is for everybody else. It seems like that's not too bad of a price, but it's because it was up to almost $4. So <laughs> you just take what you can do. This morning I left it, it was kind of cloudy, but it looked like it was a little bit chilly. So I put on a short sleeve dress and now I'm like, it's sweating to death. So I'm gonna be needing sleeveless today. Been a good day shopping. Got what I need to get done today. And then um, Sam's Club is good. And then we'll head home, and that's going to be my day for you guys today. So give myself a couple of days easy. I'm filming this week, so this gives me gives me time to do other things, which is always a good thing. So let's fill up the car with gas and then head home. Here is our Sam's Club haul. So I've got these right here. So I was just talking to the girls, and I said I am going to go to Walmart and get the Venus coconut stick. I know it'll be you know whatever it is with the regular blade. And then they can have these, because I don't need all of these. I literally could use like two or three a year. They last that long if you keep it dry. So that was a really good deal. We got these came in the mail. So this will be good. We'll try these with Jensen. And then Sam's we did. We got, this is the only lettuce they had. They had no other lettuce. We got some grapes there. And then got the bread that we'll use for the month. Probably have to get two more loaves, but this will be good. And we'll just freeze it. Honey Nut Cheerios was the cereal we chose. Popcorn, because sometimes they like an easy throw in their microwave kind of treat. We got some more of these for our ramen lunch for the week for the month. Cookie dough, this one Greg lights. They like the cheese right here. And I got two things of salami for um, bagels and for a recipe, honey. I was gonna run alone this. I just got sea salt this time. Only one package of bananas because we don't really eat them fresh that much. We have a lot of frozen hummus because they didn't have anything but the red pepper one. So I got these tomatoes because Greg wanted some. So I got a bunch here we can use. Hot dogs, provolone cheese is good. And I need these for stuff for the month. We'll get this bacon right here. I probably should have got that one at Detweiler's. I'll go back and I will get some of that to try it. And then cucumbers right here. Sausage, because we're gonna do some more stuffed biscuits. And then we got tortillas, mushrooms. Here's some ham for a recipe. We're gonna do Cuban sandwiches with this. This is really good bread. Thank you for recommending this. This is really good. Chocolate chips are out of. I picked up this spice because we do like to try different things and this is yummy. And then we got this because they had, what was it called? Bang Bang Chicken, I think was the name of the chicken that they had at the store, but I got, it was, this was cheaper. And I'm like, this will be really good. So this will be a good, easy throw in to eat meal. Two things of kibasa, Parmesan cheese, it's good. Cucumbers, bacon for easy breakfast. The right cashews this time. Picked up this because it was cheap and we do use this once in a while. So I'll have it on hand. And then I picked up two salads just to have this one and this one. And then what else? we got chips. These we'll use up for meals, for Greg's lunches, and then three rotisserie chickens. We're gonna be taking these apart, using one tonight for dinner, and then using them for different meals. I picked that up because that was like so cheap. They're way cheaper than what I got online. So that is the Sam's Club haul. This is gonna be all these groceries I got the last couple days. It's gonna last for the whole month, which is awesome. Didn't really need that much stuff. Still saved a lot of money, and uh, we'll see what we make out of it. All right, we have more. The soda? and soda okay, so i wasn't sure i was gonna just close that video at the end and so i thought i brought the footage up on my computer here and pulled it off and i was like oh it's only about 14 minutes and i'm like that's a lot shorter than what i normally do so i thought why don't but i didn't really feel like filming it was just one of those quiet days sometimes you know we had a doctor appointment so it just it's like a tiring day and so i just didn't really want to do a whole lot of like 
on camera interaction, I guess. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I just film myself putting away the groceries? I have to put all the groceries away anyways. I don't necessarily have to stop, you know, stop and talk, but I can film myself restocking everything. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna do one big giant voiceover here and just show myself stacking everything. This was a good day. It was like kind of a chill, relaxing day. It kind of was dreary outside. And so, I would, you know, you know, sometimes I like to sit until the next day, but I thought, you know, why don't I just, um, sit here and take the time and put it all away. So just loading up the mini fridge here and just putting all the sodas and energy drinks for my husband and for treats for us. We keep this in here and then um, like if we wanna do sodas for the kids, they can come get a soda and then I pack them in as lunch and then instead of him buying stuff when he's at work, it's like it's just right here, it's much cheaper to buy at the store. So I'm just gonna stock this and fill it up and then uh, put the remainder here in the store, the rest for you know when that fridge gets uh, empty we put in there and then I put some microwave popcorn he asked me for a microwave popcorn he said once in a while he wants some and so uh, the kids usually confiscate it so I said let me put some of that in here so I put some in our bedroom for that and here I'm putting all the stuff in my pantry in here so I'm sticking my ramen on top and then basically putting all the canned stuff away so this is working out really good right here just keeping everything in here and just you know organizing it in there it's like I pretty much have a staple of what I use so it's not like I have to rearrange too many things and put them around so just doesn't do good camera angles for you guys <laughs> but I'm like it works and then I was sitting here listening to a sermon and I wanted to hear it while I was uh, putting away this stuff so I put all my canned stuff up here and sticking them on the shelf and it works and get them all organized in here it's like sometimes you know you can use bigger containers sometimes I do making my own sauce instead of buying all these spaghetti jars but this month I bought them all and that's okay it's you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do for convenience or ease, it's like it kind of works out to be about the same. You save a little bit in money, but not like a ton sometimes. So I'm like, I didn't mind buying all of that. It works out and just stick it in here. I had the kids when we were putting away the groceries, I had all of them um, like in between the stores. I said, okay, just take all of these and just set them right in front of the bathroom door <laughs> and then I'll get to them and put away. So they were all here right on the floor in front of the bathroom, which worked out really good. And then all I had to do was bend down and pick everything up. So I said, instead of like carrying it off from the kitchen, so I had them just like carry all the stuff here and then I had them carry all of it down to the hallway for the um, drawers, for like the snacks and stuff like that. So, and then they all helped me put everything else away in the fridge and then I just kind of threw it in there the day I went shopping for um, Aldi and Walmart and then um, and then I was able to organize it all here today so this was good in here get all these things put away in here I have a bottom I didn't bring my camera down to show everything okay we're moving on we're doing Maxine's dog food and her treats so I was gonna try to see how much I can shove in here <laughs> this container works out really good I had a huge one at our mountain house but I just don't have the space for a big giant roller dog food and I mean she really doesn't eat that much dog food at all so I have this little container right here will last forever in a day and then I just put her treats up front and that works out perfect we put her towel on top where we give her a bath from and then I put my sponges away underneath here and this led me into let me organize under here real quick so just kind of putting fixing the bottles this little it's kind of like a mess right here it's like it kind of falls behind the stuff and I was like what am I gonna do for organization right here so I was looking at them like remember I have this this is in my closet, I don't use it. So that fit right there perfectly. And then all the bottles fit inside there. I'm like, that worked out really, really good. So, and then just moving my tinfoil on the other side and I don't really use it that much. I can stick those around the edges there. And then that worked out a little bit better for organizing. And then I had to ooh, get my um, cleaner here. I tried to, I'm down to the bottom of it. So I'm just filling these up. Vinegar and water works great, but we bought this. I think we bought these when we moved here. I, discount store had some Mr. Clean for really cheap. And I had like, I have two jugs of it. I still have a lot of it. That's just about as much as we don't use. I don't know why I had a small one like this, but maybe Greg had it in the apartment or something. Who knows? So I'm just going to be using them up for probably the next year. <laughs> And then I got up my pants here. I was gonna put those away and that led into like, oh, there's dishes on the counter, like knives and stuff for the hand wash. So those I decided to put away and then gather my towels and stuff and then coffee. I think I was gonna have someone fill my coffee and all they did was put all of the um, Costco ones in there. <laughs> I was like, no, I wanted you to put my flavored coffee in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill up my things here. I have blueberry and um, the salted caramel here. And I was like, I think I have a pumpkin one, I'm pretty sure, but I was thinking, I, and I have the creamer, the pumpkin creamer, but I still have vanilla creamer in the refrigerator, so I thought, well, we'll do another week of these ones, of the blueberry and the salted caramel until um, the creamer's gone. It, like, the creamer's been lasting a whole lot longer. I got a big, giant one at 
Sam's Club last time, so it just, I just didn't, it, we're just not drinking a lot of it. It's like not having much during the week, um, creamer-wise. Sometimes I have one if I have a coffee later in the day, and then also um, in the morning I just have black coffee usually, so just changing up a little bit, so, but it'll be good. So I'm just filling my coffee pots here, and as I'm doing this, I'm like, why am I doing this right over my drawer? Because all it did was keep knocking it, and I spilled it inside my straw containers here, so I have to rinse those off. <laughs> Why did I do that? That was not very smart. <laughs> That's okay. So I just rinsed them off. I had to dry those ones off because I got a big giant mess going on there. So it's okay. A little bit more work than I needed to be. But my coffee will be filled. I got my towels out. These are doing really good staying in here, which is really good. And then just sticking everything back. And I have full coffee for the weekend. And then I wanted to light a candle because that always makes it smell really good in here and very fall-like. All right, we're moving. Just, I keep going and going. Laundry room, we were doing laundry, so I've got all of this stuff back here put away. I had to clean out my um, little, the lint bin and getting that filled out. And then I've been using up our pods, so it's like I don't, I needed to fill my pod container up too, which worked out really good. So I've got my um, pods right here, I'm filling these up. I think I had to go back and get some scissors to cut these. I'll be almost done using these probably this month, and I'll have to buy laundry soap, I'm sure. These lasted for what we've been here four months now. That was a good deal. I haven't had to buy any laundry stuff. I probably will do the liquid because I can just pour it into my machine and then it dispenses it for you. Kind of nice, and you don't even have to add anything. I got this stuff up. They left this stuff. I just wanted to smell it. I'm like, is it good stuff to use? So I decided to keep it. Let's see what I got in those cabinets there. So I'll just fill it up there. I didn't put a lid on it because we use it all the time. Kind of pointless to put a lid on the pod thing. I'm picking up my mess, so we'll be moving along. Okay, now back to here. This is kind of a weird filming thing, but <laughs> I got it here. So the bottom drawer here is all my baking stuff. Like I bought anything I use for baking that I don't want anybody eating up. So this is all like the cereal and the candies. You know, if there's graham crackers and s'more material, just so it doesn't get accidentally eaten, or I might accidentally use it for something. So those are all specifically marked off for treats. So and then just put our bags in here. Just had to kind of organize them a little bit. I'm excited we'll be able to put shelves in here soon enough. And it'll be good. You know, it's like when you'll have those little projects to do for your house, you'll be like, okay, I'll be thankful for having a bigger space back here instead of the drawers back here. But these drawers work for now, so no complaining. And then my chips here, these work out good to put in the drawers too. Put as much as I can in here. These with the popcorn on the top shelf is our chips as well, but those are pretty full. So just kind of organizing them as best I can. And I'm like looking over here because I remember I had a little, a little tiny uh, packet of popcorn seasoning salt I found that had fallen down. And all of our cereal in here and then I realized someone put in here without a clip so there's like Cheerios all over the inside of the drawer. <laughs> so I just picked those up and then put extra clips in here. And then I was going to open up all the cereal and just put the bags in here. It works out better than the boxes because it doesn't take up that much space. So we'll just stick those in here as well. And this is good. It's like we're learning the ways of where our stuff is at and all the crackers. I decided to open all these up too instead of uh, leaving the box in there. And that works because nothing's getting smushed in there. So it works out really good to keep all that in here. And these are the cashews. I'm like, let me eat those, they're really good. There was like literally a few left in there. So I just poured them into the everything um, seasoning cashews <laughs> container. I just do not, they're okay, I just don't love them. But again, Brooklyn like those a lot, so I'm thankful for that because they're not wasted, but I just like the plain ones. Chomping away on the nuts. <laughs> Always good in fast forwarding camera. <laughs> then my cranberries I put in there and I decided to put my tortillas in here. So all that stuff is in here, nice and neat, good to go. And I put our snacks down here. So I have fruit snacks over there on the right and then I'm gonna put our popcorn in there. So that's easily accessible for the kiddos when they wanna have it. And I'm looking up here, I'm like, okay, what kind of stuff do I got? Now we're moving on to back to my bathroom. This was cleaners, so I decided to get up. I didn't realize how bright it was. There's more of that cleaner. There's the other jug I still have third of that left and I have a whole nother one in my closet here so these we just use in each bathroom I just have them fill them up and then we can put them under the sink and then we need to use them they are um, here which works out really good and then grabbing toilet paper and my cleaner and then I'm gonna put these in this bathroom keep an extra paper in all of them and then the towels we usually keep them in that bathroom but I want to keep these ones to hang outside because sometimes we forget to unlock that door <laughs> and it's like ah, oh, we need to go in there for towels and here's the freezer, yeah, we just literally shoved everything in here just because it was like late. It's like put it in here so we can just have it be cold. And so then I'm just gonna find space and make it fit. Just be a little bit finagling around, getting it to work. I mean, you can. It's like when you're at the moment of doing it, it's like, okay, we're gonna put it, just shove it anywhere. 
and then when you can kind of organize it a little bit better it works out so this is good freezer works good right here for everything we got pizzas the, those pizzas are taking up a lot of space we're gonna be having those tomorrow so i know that big chunk will be gone out of there but it was like oh just takes up a lot of now we bought a lot of those breads <laughs> great deal and i'll be thankful to use them we ended up using one for dinner tonight so it worked out really good and it's delicious i don't have to worry about making anything it's already there for the you know the whole dollar and 25 cents and i'm gonna look containers there i tried to stack these up in the corner because <laughs> they were falling everywhere so i'm getting them to just organize it away in here no like set rhyme or reason you know what i mean it's just kind of moving over every month it changes and Every, as we buy things, it's just different in there. I was gonna put the pizzas up on top, I thought that'd be better. I think I end up changing it again and taking them out of the boxes to not use up any space. So here I'm like, okay, how am I gonna make everything fit in here? But it works good. So I decide, let's take them out. <laughs> let's take them out of the box. Who needs the boxes? And I can stack them on the bottom. And they go good in there. Then we got space over there. I had bread, so I put in there. This one, this freeze, it's like it's not very big. The, freeze, the refrigerator freezer one, so I just keep my veggies in there and frozen water, which I really don't need that much water frozen, but we have it in there. And I'm just going to organize these up in here. Now, in here, it's like I have a lot of potatoes and onions and apples. I've learned like to, you have to keep them refrigerated or they go bad here. So I'm at the bottom here. There was like a bunch of water bottles, and I'm like, I feel like I need to empty that out, but I. Another day, I just have to get another container to stick them in because I put a lot in the refrigerator because through the summer to make sure they were nice and uh, cold, but it worked. I guess that was it. I was thinking, did I do all that? I guess I was in, and then I moved on to the refrigerator and sat freezer inside. I was getting stuff out of here that doesn't need to be in here, like those were cream of chicken for the chicken Eddie I never made, and a nacho cheese, and a pizza, and a corn, and the ice cream, and some fries. So I, let me take those out because it's just taking up space in here, and then rethinking through. I think that was a hamburger bun. A little bit of um, random stuff I'm finding here. I think I even find a container or something. I'm like, what is it? Because I didn't label anything. You know, it's the best when you don't. But I did discover later that it was Alfredo sauce. I'm like, oh, that's what that'd be. I mean, those are my banana bread right there. So I was just kind of organizing each side here, moving the most of the things that are in here, like nuts and like that right there. That was the Alfredo. Listen, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Look like frosting, didn't even know. But anyways, most of it is nuts and cheese and stuff in here, so not a ton, but just so I know what's in there. I have a lot of the veggie soup and freezing it in my glass dishes, so I was just trying to move those to the bottom. And then I love our garbanzo beans. We put those in there too. So just making room, moving it around. You can do this every single month because there's always something. If you're constantly moving around and looking, then you don't usually lose something in your freezer. The only thing was this little Alfredo, I was like, what is it? But I had to open it up and scrape off a piece so I can know what it was. <laughs> Alfredo, I got more popsicles for the kids. Throw those in there. We have a lot of those I bought when we moved here. Maxine's right there, like, at my side, like, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> more stuff for the freezer. And then these are my spices here. I'm gonna take a, yeah, I'm gonna pour the salt from a plastic container into a glass one because I have all these glass ones. I overfilled it. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do in there. So those are in there. And then I had, um, I wasn't sure what to do with the spices and what I was going to put in there. Because I was like, do I open and put in there? These are the ranch ones. You can leave them in the little container, uh, the bag, the little packets. I just put them in here because I already had this labeled for ranch. So I just put it in there. It works. I know it's about a quarter cup when you have a recipe. So I'll know that when I do it. And then my uh, baking soda, I just dumped that in the sink because um, I got a new one here because I'm almost out. And it'll freshen up the sink. So just fill this up here. And then we'll have these all good. I made myself a note. Remember the everything bagel soon I bought more. I already had a whole container from Sam's Club, so that's okay. So I opened up the ones from Aldi and poured them into the Sam's Club one because it's bigger. And then I just had to refill my Italian seasoning. And I think was that it? Yeah, and the, and the bagels. And I didn't have any garlic powder, but I did have a garlic and parsley that I bought that Brooklyn really likes for eggs. So I put that in there. I'm like that works out, and I can put that on the breads and stuff like that and the kinder I, I just wasn't sure what i was going to do with this one because i didn't want to not forget what it was so i put it on these glass things right here by the stove and then i think i show the camera the jar so i don't forget which one it is and i wrote it down to uh on my grocery list the next time we go shopping there it is i know to get the blend and this one's pretty easy pasta we do not have that much pasta we just eat pasta all the time something we just don't eat all the time okay putting that stuff in there and then looking to my refrigerator time 
everything well I shipped in here I, I realized we have three containers of peanut butter open no there was actually four I ended up throwing one away because it was crunchy and it, it was kind of really separated like it had been open for a long time which is really weird so it was just a little bit I threw away but I have three big containers of peanut butter I'm like oh my goodness <laughs> so I think I had put it in the refrigerator and then we ran out of room so I took some out and then the kids didn't know if there was any in there so they opened more so peanut butter I'm gonna I took the natural one out because it separates a little bit and I put that um, in the cupboard and I thought I'll use it up for baking so I have two in here and I'm like again it happens so just trying to organize I try to keep my lunch meat and cheese in the bottom and then I put veggies over on the side here on the other bottom because they're longer and that was old lettuce just trying to get everything to fit in here and then uh, making it good it's like to organize and reorganize you can do this all day long with your stuff can't you just try to make everything fit but it's good now the veggies we ended up having the grapes with our dinner tonight miss barbara bought us uh, this little fruit ba basket said it was cute it had a pears and apples and oranges and then it had little candies and stuff. So these are chocolate blueberries. I thought they were fresh blueberries. And I realized they were chocolate blueberries. I thought that was really neat. So those are yummy. So we have those. And then I think um, it was neat because each box has some different little nuts in there. We're going to do a little charcuterie board this weekend with this little um, candied ones. And then like a little snack mix. I thought that was really sweet. Were Miss Barbara, so, so sweet. And then those boxes were great. The girls took those, Brooklyn and Jane. They said those are really cute for decorating. So I'm going to put these in here. And then... Um, put the rest of my apples I guess not all my apples but some apples in here I do have some on the garage because I'm gonna make caramel apples with and some of these for baking so I think these are the pink ladies and green apples are what the kids like so just pouring those in here that worked out and then the kiwis will be onto these kind of fruits I think and grapes out with the um, watermelon I guess that the season is done <laughs> or at least the last ones so I did cut up the last one I'm like eh, it wasn't like as awesome as they've been so I'll consider watermelon season finished I'm just reorganizing this. I'm like, how am I gonna make this fit in here? <laughs> it's like you keep finding stuff. The little syrup I threw away was only a little bit. The pickles are just the peanut butter I put back there because behind the eggs is like an empty space that we don't really need to go to because it has to come out a little bit. And I had this big container of the country crock barter. I'm like, where? It's too big for the shelf. <laughs> I should have bought smaller ones, but it's good. I can always put it in a container, I guess, too. So I was just getting some leftovers out of here, taking that out make sure it's all nice and just, you know see what I got in there always a good thing to do and the watermelon I was gonna put it in there and I realized it was too big I'm like that's not even gonna fit in there okay <laughs> let's skip that to what did, what did I do here did I just leave the camera running no let's look at the chickens I had all the rotisserie chickens so I needed to find room for those that worked out we had one for dinner tonight so the two went in and then uh, I was gonna put the garlic in there I realized I already had one out and I'm rinsing some grapes off here I was gonna put in a bowl and I realized let's get the strainer down here and then just rinse them. I said it worked out really good for an easy dinner having those and the kids they loved it. This watermelon here again wasn't impressed with it. I took a bite I'm like eh, it's okay. We'll eat it. I don't know maybe. <laughs> so I just cut up half of it because I needed to cut it down so I can get in the fridge so I can get chilled. And then we'll decide if we have it this weekend or not. It's not that good. The last one not impressed with it at all. So it just wasn't, this, it just getting the end of the season. So not that good. That's why I didn't cut all of it off because I knew it would not get eaten. I don't even know if this will get eaten. We'll see. And then here I am. This is the last thing I did. I took my soap. I think some of you said take the bottom and unscrew it instead of pushing it down the top. So I did, but it was way far up under my sink. So it was like one of those inconvenience things, but you're going to see me struggle and, and I'll make it work. But I was able to fill it. Definitely a small little bottle and like, um, but I was able to fill it up without it getting everywhere, which is good. I'm like, that's always the the plus. And so I was just rinsing it off here and then trying to get it under my sink because it's not just an easy clear like, oh, here it is. I can see it. So now it's like under the filter and everything because there's a filter under the sink under there as well. But we make it happen. So <laughs> it's good. So now my hands are full of soap. I'm like, is it better to do that or just have it spill over the top? I don't know. <laughs> like, we did it this way. So this is going to be, I was the chair. I'm like, do I film this or do I not try to get myself in here? So it's good, but this is going to be the end of my video today. I'm like, this is going to be 
it. You see me struggle, Maxine, right there like, mom, what's wrong? Are you okay? She's always right by my side. So we had a good day, a good, good day today and then ended it and got to talk to my kids and spend some time and just laugh and have a good time, have a good time. Watch me struggle. I'm trying to put my head under there too, but it wasn't gonna fit because I have my bun in my head. So you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. I will, with another video. Watch myself, I'm gonna see my go under here. This is me struggling under my cover, trying to feel, make sure I can get it. Mike seems like, are you okay? <laughs> All good things. I'm watching, watching the, the mommy hair sticking this underneath there. I almost got it, I was twisting it real slow and it did go in. So, beautiful. All right, have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow. We got another video tomorrow. I just wanted to put all these groceries away. So, all right, see you tomorrow. Bye.